happy June, that means happy Pride, that means you should be proud whether you're part of the LGBT community or not, I truly believe that. Um, anyways, I'm very excited. In the month of June, we actually are part of a book club. And in today's, in June's, 2018's month, we actually are reading a book called The Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eckert. And I, I already read it, reading it for the second time. It's like when you watch a movie and you're like, I didn't know they did that. Same thing. I'm not going to be like your friend that's going to tell you that everybody dies at the end of Avengers. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie already, you should have already seen it. I think it's out in Netflix and stuff. But anyway, I digress. Today, you're going to see my notes here flopping around a little bit because I want to make sure that I'm saying word by word a couple of things and uh, one of the things that I love about the book is that you if you've been talking to me for a while if you've been seeing me for a little while you know that I believe in abundance being well-rounded it's not just money it has to do with your health it has to do with family fun and a whole bunch of stuff right but when it comes to wealth you actually there's two games going on there is the outer game and there is the inner game and the inner game is what's going on in here that is the toughest thing to deal with right and so by the way your mindset about money is everything guys and by the way a lot of people tell tell me you know and, and i have to sometimes fight with my hippie tendencies that it's like money is not everything guys you've heard me say this before but i'm gonna tell you again money is extremely important when it's needed for the things that are relevant but it's also extremely unimportant when the, for the things that are not, right? And this is something that they actually cover in the book. Let me give you an example about this. I promise you that with all of the love and the hugs, if you show up to your bank to pay your mortgage or your rent with a hug, uh, they are gonna send you right back into whatever it is that you came from and more than likely evict you. So we don't want that. You wanna make sure you master the outer and the inner game of money. What are you feeding your mind, right? So that leads me right into thoughts. So in the book, he talks about thoughts lead to feelings, right? And the way that you feel then leads into actions and actions lead into results. So where does it all start from? Right here. And so one of the things that we gotta be mindful of is not only what we're thinking, because what we're thinking is directly related to what is it that we're feeding our mind. So are you like Netflix and chill all day, every day that you are off or whenever it is? Or are you feeding something to your mind that is gonna help you grow? I know that this video is a little bit different, right? I'm not telling you the how-to of life insurance and the how-to of debt and things like that. But I truly believe that if you want to make sure that you have full abundance, that you need to transcend your thoughts about money today. Not tomorrow, not like yesterday would have been better, but if not, you need to start today, right? So one of the things he says, the wealth file number one is actually, I create my life versus life happens to me. And so he goes on and he talks about how you actually have to be mindful of having a victim mindset, right? What do victims do? Well, they blame everything into other people. It's never your fault, right? And we've all been here, by the way. Uh, they justify things. So, you know, we, we have a mantra here in the office. We say no excuses, no justifications. Um, and then the last thing is that you complain. The moment that you complain, you're attracting all kinds of ugly things to your life that are not serving you. So make sure that you are stepping right out of it, right? Uh, and so, guys, I want to leave you with this one thought, and I really want you to marinate about it. Um, actually, before that, I'm going to ask you a question. The question is, what is it that you're feeding your mind? I recommend you, if you have not read this book, go ahead and read it for the first time. If you have already read it, go ahead and read it for a second time. I may do a follow-up uh, towards the end of the month just to give those people the time to catch up and I don't tell you the end of the movie, right? But uh, my thought of today in this beautiful month of June, right? And thinking about what pride is and how we should be proud of everything that we have gone through and everything that um, you know, the whole concept of whether I create my life or life happens to me is something that is very real, right? So I'm just going to leave you with this. There is no such thing as a rich victim, right? And so in order for you 
to be able to be rich and the best time to be rich is not 15 years from now is today then you have to make sure that you're changing your inner money game your inner money game right so guys i'm looking forward to see what is it that you believe i love to hear from my hippie friends what is it that they believe i know i'm gonna get a little bit of a heat from this i'm looking forward to it i want to hear your perspective tell me what is it that you want us to cover next i'll talk to you later